Good morning guys. Welcome to Career Counseling Online once again. And today we're going to talk about taking care of the employees. I know it sounds a bit uh, ironic when we are seeing companies kicking out employees, termination, job layoffs, pay cuts and so on. But I believe this is the exact time when we should talk about taking care of the employees the other time we spoke about the ego the way the organization has to look at the current situation in terms of the employees perspective now what does uh, taking care of employees means see apart from these salaries perks and rewards and recognitions those are those are a part of the job that the employees are doing but the main thing is many a times when i have spoken to employees i have found that it was that they had a nice perk they had a nice salary they had a nice workplace uh work you know to work on they had the best technology to work on yet they didn't stay much long in the organization when i delved into deeper into what was troubling them what i found was the employee felt disconnected the employee felt that somehow they didn't belong to that organization the feeling of connectivity the feeling of being counted upon being accountable no they were accountable about their job but the thing is you know a, a family which has a close tie up with its own family members harbors a healthy mindset similarly an employee and the employers um are a part of a big family which is the organization now when an employee feels a part of this family because we need to understand we spend so much of time in our workplace we spend so much of time with our colleagues we spend so much of time with meeting you know at a conference and so on so it becomes like our second family okay because the major of majority of the waking hours we are spending with our employers in the organization so in that case taking care of the employees is very very important aspect now what do we mean about taking care of the employees i'll quote some examples from my past experience only uh, see like uh, one thing is i have met i have many a times uh, in in my you know past experience i've seen many a times that uh, when the managers uh, or the directors are executing orders many a times i have seen that you know the employees gets an email they gets a call and you know suddenly there is a meeting and uh, you know a verdict almost like a verdict is being handed over to them now what does that do is that makes you uh, feel that i am always on the receiving end like whatever happens my input is never going to be considered uh, we are not never going to talk about it we are never going to discuss about it and um, whatever the decision the management has they simply going to dump on us now that makes a uh, employee feel disconnected right on the rivers i'll say uh, in one of my videos i have mentioned about this organization that i joined after i came back from uh, bangalore working with hp see i was working with irev max technologies um i i, I refer to both irev max technologies and hp repeatedly in many of my videos because these are the two best organizations where i have seen uh, the best of uh, you know human practice the best of um you know work culture uh, the best of um uh, you know learning happening at the same time i also observed the faults which could have been worked upon uh, for a better employee you know uh, happiness or better uh, employee connectivity now we need to understand 70% this is not i uh, mentioning this over the video 70% of the working population today are unhappy and they feel disengaged they feel disengaged on their job now in such a scenario it becomes very difficult for an employer to retain its employees we need to understand you know it is not always the fat salary or the rewards or recognition which keeps an employee as i mentioned see in terms of this instructions or uh, this uh, policies being rolled out i mean it is always that the policies are coming from the grass 
you know the glass cabins it's not it's not very healthy see the directors or the leaders or the uh, you know managers needs to come out of their cabin interact with the employee as i mentioned in my last uh, in my uh, you know organization which i joined after i came back from uh, bangalore uh, iraq next technology i was interviewed by uh, uh, uday singh solanki sir and uh, he was he 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 uh, is one of the leaders uh, or who displayed the characteristics which i literally would like to develop in myself in in the long run see uh, right from my interview which was um, a bit uh, you know a mixture of everything it was technical it was um, iq based it was um, eq based and it was also humorous also because even when he was handing me over as i mentioned the other video even when he was handing me over the uh, offer letter he was mentioning that uh, sanjay uh, coming uh, you know coming from hp such a big organization with all those facilities i i can guarantee you that you won't stick here more than 6 months and you wouldn't believe i mentioned it i mean this uh, all the old employees with irmex technologies knows mr uday singh solanki sir had this habit you know he never took the lift to his cabin which was most probably on the third or fourth floor and but he always walked up with all the you know he uh, did all the climbing on the stairs and each floor he used to go through all the desks and he knew everybody by the name and he used to you know wish them fresh and there are many a times when i was working on something um you know and suddenly i hear a voice like uh, good morning you are still there that was something which i literally missed every day i mean like if some day that didn't happen i i felt like um, you know it was a part of uh, almost like a ritual and it was a you know happy uh, exchange of uh, good morning only but the thing is what it was funny it was uh, it was good because i every time he said this i always mentioned that sir i'm going to prove you wrong i'm going to stay here for a very long time um, yes i did stay there for almost four uh, five and a half years and um, yes then we had to go different direction because of a different kind of job change that i was looking for um, but then again see he coming out of the cabin he coming out uh, of his uh, you know glass room and meeting the employees giving uh, the instructions and you know following up with the work yes we had the managers we had the team leads but then again he was also in it so that made you also feel that there is a sense of urgency so whenever he you know uh, you know he inquired about the status of the project uh, everybody knew that around 995 uh he's going to uh, come up for for his uh, you know uh, round he's going to uh, you know uh, do a bit of chit chat and obviously he's uh, also expecting a status update also so it's better that i am updated on the uh, project status so that made everybody so involved and when sir came uh, it was like you know uh, there was not a requirement for a meeting to happen for any challenges that we were facing sometimes uh, i i remember many a times we had this um, problem with the uh, connectivity long distance connectivity with the international calls and uh, i i said uh, so we are having problem with this um, you know headsets this needs to be changed and uh, then he says like uh, don't say what needs to be done but tell me oh, what is the solution and i then i said sir uh, please uh, if you don't mind i might uh, say you see in hp we had wonderful plantronics and avaya headsets um, they are pretty expensive yes very expensive but the thing is you know it was like uh, sitting next to the customer wearing that headset and um, you know we can have the conversation dis- you know without any disruption without any um, you know noise and others so uh, he said that okay it might not be possible for all the members to have the plantronics headset but we are going to plan about it and uh, honestly guys i remember in his uh, visit during his visit to us uh, um, after a couple of months 6 uh, 7 months while he came back you wouldn't believe um, i receive a call my team lead uh, receives a call and when we receive uh, when we go to his um, uh, you know cabin he hands over this five plantronics headsets now that is the kind of uh, involvement that uh, we always we always loved about uh, uday sir uh because he was always into everything he knew about each and everybody's uh, even problems also like for my father was suffering from motor neuron disease and uh, uh, it it was a, a pretty complex disease but and he knew that that was the only reason why i left hp and i come came back to kolkata so every time he uh, you know uh, he he did catch me over a cup of coffee or something um 
he never used to smoke he is not a smoker so he sometimes he was having a tea or a coffee and any time that he used to uh, meet me he made it a mandated point to ask me about my father like sanjay how is your father doing um are you getting all the medicines are you getting all the uh, you know uh, facilities that is required for him uh, do you need to take him how to hospitals for checkups so maybe you can plan uh, such leaves with your team lead see that made me feel like a family member right i mean that made me literally feel i belong there and that that let me believe that this organization cares about me honestly speaking we had much better facilities in hp much better uh, you know work culture in hp that's absolutely true but when i came back to kolkata and i found this this was like such a you know welcome uh, you know such a fresh welcome to me uh, wherein it was uh, it was an organization which had a human face that i always say it was an organization which always had a human face it uh, you know i uh, asked me about my problem uh, it tried to understood me and it tried to you know work on uh, the challenges that i faced so directors managers and leaders whosoever is leading a team needs to come out of that cabin okay you need to interact with your employees you need to interact with them i'm not saying that you need to go for a long chat you know you need to go for a you know family personal discussion always nothing like that but when you come out of that glass cabin you become one of them the employees feels you are approachable you are one of them with whom the problem the difficulties the challenges uh, could be discussed and you are the face of the organization and you are a human being so that adds a human face to the organization also see uh, drawing uh, a, 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 you know example from hp and irmax i would say we had this wonderful uh, uh, annual uh, meetings uh, you know uh, um, which was done over annual picnics and this was a huge picnic which we all in irmax look forward to and in hp also uh, it was it used to be very exorbitant i mean like uh, we had the best of everything we had the best transportation uh, volvo coaches at that time i saw you know imported volvo coaches i have seen it in hp uh, with hp laser mark and it it made you feel so huge i mean the volvo coaches used to be huge so once we were get you know getting inside it and um, they you know the managers you could see the managers the tls the offsets all in a different all in a different role altogether i mean you will find them uh, you know wearing bermudas you will find them wearing colorful dresses colorful hats and you know they are in a different mood and attitude all together and that brought us all you know uh, you know very much closer very much closer we all felt so very connected we all felt that these are human beings with whom we are working and they are approachable they are uh, you know human beings like us they do have problems like us and uh, you know they would understand us so whenever we had this uh, annual uh, me, you know picnics um we had we had such a fun i mean we used to look forward to those kind of picnics i mean in irmax also there was so much of food there was so much of drinks and everybody i mean uh, you know honestly speaking um, the managers offering a drink to a, 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 a you know a team member that i mean I'm, it's not about you know a manager or a director offering you a drink but the thing is the the moment he does that he brings you to a platform which is of common uh, you know common platform right where in it could be discussed it could be thought about it could be spoken about it could be uh, you know connected so the employees feels nothing to hide if they, there is something which is disturbing them they felt absolutely comfortable talking to their team leads to their managers to the directors we had wonderful work environment in hp and uh, irev max back then i'm talking about uh, when i joined irev max in uh, 2006 uh 2000 uh, 2005 and when i joined and uh, this annual picnics used to be in some uh, nice location a greenery field uh, lots of activities lots of sports used to happen during the uh, you know and uh, the main thing is uh, even even when the director is uh, doing the hit the hit the uh, wicket kind of competition which we used to, uh, fondly used to have uh, you know when even the director misses and the way uh, uday sir or our other uh, you know um, ops heads used to take that uh, sportily that made us also learn that see these are directors and they are not angry i mean because many a times we see the sports many a time 
people fail to take it in a sporting spirit so there used to be cricket and uh, Yodaji loved playing cricket so even when he was bowled out he was like oh god you got me so that was a kind of thing which broke the kind of barrier of fear that oh he's some like you know somebody uh, who's to be put in the glass cabin only and he's not approachable it's not like that we were you know we were very lucky uh, you know during those years of operation you know uh, the best part i will tell you remembering of the glass cabin uh, when we moved into the new building of dlf uh, even today if somebody wants to go and uh, check it out uh, See the huge glass cabins which were designated for the directors, uh, the CTOs and others, uh, it never used to have a door. It never used to have a door. We always used to think like someday or other the door is going to be put because it might not be ready yet. But then we never used to have a door at that time. I'm talking about when we moved to DLF in 2007, um, it never used to have a door and anybody could walk in. Anybody. It was literally an uh, open door policy. It, it made us believe that he is working with us on the same floor. right? And he, irrespective of, you know, I was there uh, till 2010 and uh, irrespective of all this number of years he still used to pass by the decks you know the workplace he still used to stop at my desk and each other employees desk and he used to crack some joke hey you working you still working with with this company when are you planning to live and that was a kind of joke that uh, become like a ritual and I still fondly remember that. What did happen? I mean, today I am not with Irev Max and there is no good point in talking so good about them. But the thing is, what made me feel then, I still carry that experience, right? I mean, uh, I, I just hope that many employees uh, are lucky enough to talk about their past organization in this manner because I learned a lot. I learned a lot uh, from from both these organizations and I found that what it can do when your director or your manager or your team lead comes and becomes a human being, right, instead of being like a, you know, a zombie uh, there in the glass cabin and just, uh, you know, giving the verdict or the... Uh, or, or the policies or something like that over the mail it was not that yes the mail was there the official meeting was there even i remember udayji had this habit uh, we had a huge meeting room but whenever he had to uh, deliver any kind of uh, let's say speech or i had to discuss a kind of policy which is going to be implemented within the organization he made it a point that he came to the uh, we had a huge work, uh, uh, you know, workspace floor and he used to come and stand just in, uh, you know, at the center and he used to, uh, you know, hop up on a, on a work work desk and he used to, uh, uh, you know, uh, say that, guys, this is what is happening in the international world. This is how we are planning for this uh, this year and these are the policies which we are going to implement. And yes. There were a couple of uh, uncomfortable discussions also, but that happened in a very open forum. It was not department-wise, it was not, uh, you know, uh, because he understood that the policies and the rules impacted everybody. So when he came down and, you know, sat with us and, uh, you know, uh, discussed about it, it made us more receptive. You know, it was not like, okay, so there is this guy and this is the management and they always dump their policies on us. Nothing like that. So he always was in a very discussing uh, mood. He was always in a very open platform wherein, you know, we were able to put forward our points of views. We were able to ask questions, um, you know, uh, and he literally made uh, uh, all our uh, questions being answered. Now, that is the kind of connectivity that employees need to have. We spoke about the outings, which literally uh, brought us closer to the management also. We were able to understand their, you know, point of view uh, because in, in during this meeting also, uh, you know, there were casual discussions about... Uh, uh, how things are in the international market, how things are going, what we need to do, and so on. This casual, uh, you know, meetings, you know, maybe, maybe, I'm saying, over a, over a can of beer or over o over a cup of coffee, over a you know cup of tea, whatever, were much more better effective than the meetings in you know a dark uh, room, AC humming the projector uh, glaring this presentation and all this kind of corporate meeting look you know all this decked up look these informal meetings were much more effective 
from I'm talking about in terms of uh, being an employee. From my perspective, I'm talking about it used to relay the message much better than the meeting rooms than the dark meeting rooms which made us always feel like uh, you know a subject you know like we being subjective rather than you know when we were out, you know outside talking about it we you know discussing about it we were much more receptive at least i can talk about myself you know i i understood the situation better i understood my deliverables better and it made my life uh, much easy uh, as an employee i still cherish those days and thanks a lot to uh, uday sir for those uh, for creating that kind of memory so that i can talk about it even after 10 years of living the organization it's been 10 years that i have left irev max but i still talk about it it's 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 because the impact that it had on me learning now uh, i would i would say along with this another point is very important yes the hr departments does that they maintain a uh, hr uh, uh, you know file about each and every employee but uh, this uh, uh, file need not be staying with the hr forever and ever at the point uh, you know just the day he, the employee is joining and it's reopened again the day the employee leaves see in the meantime uh, you need to you need to inspire uh the employees to upgrade their skill to upgrade their uh you know uh, technical knowledge and uh you know go for training and so on and whatever updates happens you know uh keep the employees informed about uh providing those certifications which they received uh providing their portfolios providing any kind of uh you know advancement which has happened and the documents and this constantly needs to be updated on the hr file and this files needs to be reviewed not only at the point of time of uh you know a reward and recognition but it has to be reviewed year round uh, because uh, the employees these days with online learning happening online classes happening the employees might be upgrading their skills you know internally so uh, a constant review of the linkedin profile and even talking to them uh, you know uh, to provide the certification to provide the documents and updating those files and putting forward the hr is not only uh, you know a documenting machine the hr department is not only about putting the employees files in the shelves it's about updating those files and putting forward in front of the management that this uh, you know guy we've been uh, we've been uh, keeping a tag on uh, these guys are updating their skills these guys have learned new skills these guys is um, uh, are are learning new technical um let's say uh, you know trainings or skills so most probably they are going to uh, look for more better changes in terms of the job change now the thing is guys many times we are mistaken that a job change always has to be an organizational change no even when you are within an organization you can go for a job change with a role change so when that hr policy is applied on the hr file of an employee this files are reviewed by the hr and put forward by the management and when the management also goes through these files um you know it it creates automatically a positive repository of potential candidates for the future positions so whenever there is a requirement for a job instead of going outside you know taking somebody from outside it is first going to be an igp which is the internal job posting how does that happen that can only happen when the hr professionals are maintaining the file updating the file and putting forward to the management because the management does not really have the time to go up to the hr and you know ask for uh, you know file updation but the thing is it, it is the responsibility of the hr head or the hr department head you know to provide that file in front of the management stating these are the guys who are constantly upgrading their skills these are the guys who are constantly learning new skills so tomorrow if we are not giving them a better role a better uh, you know a uh, position which where then they can utilize these skills it's a high chance that these employees might look for this position outside our organization wherein they can utilize their upgraded skills so it is one of the best responsibility or what is one of the you know most uh, important responsibility of the hr department to put forward 
those files of those employees who are constantly upgrading their skills, constantly learning things, and they also need to follow up with the employees for constant updation. If there is any change which is happening, if there is any new skill that they have learned, they need to provide those documents to them so that their file can be updated and put forward to the management. Now, guys, with that uh, note today, I would wrap it up. So, taking care of an employee uh, does not always mean taking care of the employee through a fat reward recognition or a fat salary. The salary, uh, you know, uh, updation or the reward and recognition will happen as per the KRA and the KPI being reviewed and the yearly performance review. But the thing is, along with this, the points that I mentioned today also helps in building uh, employees' relationship with the organization. It also helps in build, you know, bonding the employee to the organization, making them feel a part of the family. So an organization which succeeds in doing that has a very lower rate of attrition. We spoke about attrition the other day in a video, but the same thing is when an organization works on these three points and takes care of their employee, it is a much work, better working environment that they can create. It is a much peaceful environment that they can create in this organization. And these days, in a time of chaos and pandemic, when things are going haywire, it is high time for the employers to take care of their employees. So with that note today, as I always mention, please don't stress it out all by yourself. Take care of yourself. Let's work on this together, okay? So, learn, contribute, and evolve.